And then now he's locked in and it'll take two more, I'm pretty sure. What you're seeing right now is the final phase for defeating Dario using the speedrun strat. What you'll see in this final phase is that Dario is basically helpless until he's defeated from us using Ice Blast over and over and over. Dario is a Chrono Cross optional boss notorious for being pretty tough and hitting pretty hard. This holds true for casual play and speedrunning alike. However, in this video I'm going to show you how the speedrun defeats Dario as early as possible to get the most yield out of obtaining the Master Moon. And we are going to see how it's done without having to get the Black Plate. Okay, so for this there's going to be a bit of setup. I'm going to list all the equipment that is necessary to be able to do this strat, including all the elements that are needed as well. So the total things that you're going to need, you're going to need one scarf and some magic accessories. The magic accessories can be a Skygen ring, some magic rings, Dragoon honors, etc. For elements, you're going to need two Cure Pluses, two Weak Minded, a Revive, a Magnify, a Genius, some red attacking element, preferably an Inferno, and if you don't have an Inferno, then a Fire Pillar, a Turn Red, Frog Prince, and then a bunch of Ice Blasts, like 10 to 15 if you want to be safe. So now that we know everything that we need, let's talk about all the places you can find these things at. Starting with equipment. The Scarf Manana, you will always have it as a drop after Miguel. The magic accessories, first of all, the Sky Gen can be a rare steal or drop from Lynx and Fort Dragonia. It can also be a rare steal from the Teuton Shaman in Fossil Valley of Another World, and it can be a rare drop from Salt in the Salt and Pepper fight in Mount Pyre. The magic ring can be a common steal and a rare drop from the Fire Dragon in Mount Pyre. It can be a common steal from Lynx in Viper Manor. It can be a rare drop from Pepper in the Catch Up fight. And it can be found in a chest on the Water Dragon Isle in Homeworld. So lastly for equipment, the Dragoon Honor. It can be found in a chest in Viper Manor, Another World, or the start of the game. And it can be a common drop from Garai. So for elements, I'm not going to go through an exhaustive list of every place you can find these or buy these elements. I grouped up a couple of shops that you can go to to get everything that we need for this video if you don't have them. For the weak-minded, the magnify, the genius, or the turn red, you can go to another marble, or you can go to home goldove. For the cure plus, the ice blast, and the fire pillar if you need one, you can go to another termina to get these. This should limit the amount of extra trips you need to go to different places to buy everything. And finally, for the last three that can't be bought, I'll explain some quick places that you can find these at. The Frog Prince you will always have by this point in the game as a part of a story drop. The Inferno can be trapped from several places, or it can be rare drop from some enemies like the Will-O-Wisp. The Revive can be found in Viper Manor Barracks in another world at the beginning of the game, or the Dimensional Vortex if you move the rocks to get to the chest. And finally, it can also be found in the Viper Manor sewers of another world. So now that we know all the things that we needed and how to get them, let's talk about our party setup. So our party is actually going to be a Lynx, because it has to be, Riddell, because we need her to start the quest, and we're going to need our highest magic blue innate user. I use Marcy in the runs, and Irene also will work. I've used her for all characters. I do want to add a little bit of an asterisk that I have not tested with every blue innate magic user. Because stamina is very important, having less than a 1.0 or higher than a 1.0 could technically throw it off a little bit. So I just want to say that I know it works with Marcy, and I know it works with Irene. So starting off for Lynx, for equipment, the only thing that's really important on him is that we have exactly one scarf on him. You can have other things on him as well, but the main thing is that you just want to have the one scarf for the stamina. For elements on level 1, Lynx is going to have two Cure Pluses, a Revive, and a Weak Minded. On level 2, he's going to have our red attacking magic element. I have Inferno listed, you can also be using Fire Pillar like I mentioned as well, or just some other red attacking element. For level 4, you're going to want to put Magnify on him. And on level 6, you're going to have a placeholder. This lets us be able to build up to level 6. Riddell is actually going to be very simple. The only thing you need on Riddell is she's going to need a weak mind in level 1. And for Marcy or our other blue innate user, the equipment you're going to want is basically on her accessories. You want to fill all three slots with the magic items that will give you the highest overall magic. For elements, level 1, she's going to need a turn red and a genius. On levels 4, 5, and 6, you're going to want to use all of those Ice Blasts that you bought and just fill those slots all the way up. The more the better. On level 7, you're going to want to put Frog Prints on her. And that'll be it. That is our entire loadout and setup. And now we can get into the fight. So as we get into the fight, I do want to mention that yes, this is on emulator, as you can see my inputs in the top of the screen, uh, but this does work on the remaster and it does work on original hardware as well. This is just because it is easier to record off of an emulator save state so that I can set everything up and explain it to you guys uh, pretty concisely. So as we're getting into this fight, I do also want to mention a couple of things. 
Uh, one, this is not a exhaustive guide on everything that can go possibly wrong or right in this fight. Uh, there's a reason that it is uh, heavily annotated on the notes that I'm showing to you and providing to you in the link in the description. Uh, this is a fight that sometimes takes practice, especially even for speedrunners. Uh, but if you're saving before this and you are following the guide or the notes that I'm giving to you uh, pretty closely, uh, and you are watching this video, you should be okay to at least get through it and then start to learn uh, how to do it, even if it isn't on your first try. So the first thing you're gonna see is it says phase one. Phase one, we're gonna defend with Riddell. Basically, this defend is just to make sure that he doesn't low roll us on his first turn, because we can't control that, and crit Riddell and kill her. So he doesn't go, so that's when we go into these trees here. You'll see that we didn't get attacked, so we're going to go into not attacked. We're going to do a 1-1. One, one. Make sure you do 1-1. One, one. Don't just do 1, pause 1. So we still didn't get attacked. So if you did get attacked right there, you would immediately switch into going into where it says attacked and do the 1-1-1-1, one, 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 Marcy 1-1. One, one. But now that he didn't go, no matter when he goes now, we are going to stay into attacked. So when you miss in this fight, you want to kind of make sure that you don't keep doing more attacks because stamina is very important as you'll see as we go through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get to level 6. We're going to do 1, 2, 3. Okay, so he did interrupt us, but we're still going to stay into still not attacked because we got all the way through here. So that's 1. Then we're going to go to Marcy. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. And now this is the crux of how the fight works. You'll see that I mentioned that Dario has 7 AP. We basically just did, if you, did have to, if you had to do all four ones, uh, with Marcy and you had to do two ones with Lynx. I only had to do one there But if you didn't then you would have to do six AP worth of things and he would be at one AP So basically anyways Where we're at right now is Dario could go on the next turn that we do whether that's a one a two three Whatever do an element whatever he could go But we're gonna abuse the fact that Dario's AI is programmed to respond with an opposite colored element of the one he gets hit with a set one at that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do our damaging red element that we equipped, either hopefully Inferno or Fire Pillar, but it could be anything really. The only reason is because this has a chance of burning, which makes our magic and attacks do more. But I don't actually have Inferno on the save state, so I'm going to do Fire Pillar just to show that it also works with this. And he's going to respond with Numble, which takes his turn. So now it basically we have 6 AP to work with again. So now, after that, we're going to go to Marcy. We're going to do one, two, three. If you missed or something beforehand and you needed to do another one, you could do another one. That's why it shows four here. And it also says stop at level seven. We are at level seven. So we don't want to overmash and we don't want to go above level, over level seven. Everything is kind of tight in this fight. That's why it can take a little bit of practice. So now we're going to go to uh, Riddell. We're going to do one, one. As long as one of these hits, you're fine. One of them can miss. We just want to be able to weak-minded here. This will be how we control the second turn here for Dario. He will respond with a black element, and it is a deadly one. But we're doing this because stamina refreshes uh, are very uh, important to control, and having two, enemy, or two allies instead of three makes it easier to do. All right, so here, if you had... I'm actually at five with Link, so this is good. This shows that it will work. If you were at, if you were at four right here, you want to just do uh, four, uh, all four of your ones. You want to go to zero. We're just trying to sink links down. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. If you were at zero stamina here, it would still be fine. Being at five is also fine though. So after that, we're going to sink Marcy and make her boost her magic by doing genius. Now we're going to do a magnify to help with the magic for the later phases. So if you were counting and you saw that we had 7 AP to work with after Riddell got weak minded, uh, sorry, got conductor rod, we did 1, 2, 3, 4, genius magnify. So we're at 6. So once again, he could go on this next turn. That is why we're actually going to target him now with another red element. This also, this, which is why the stamina's really do matter, uh, sinks both of our characters into deep negatives. So basically, the reason how this works, without going too deeply into uh, specific mechanics, uh, is that we basically make him go on his turn, and none of us have stamina to go. So the game needs somebody to go and refills our stamina. 
So in this next phase, basically what we're going to do is because he responded with Numble, which is why we hit him with a red element, it helps us start filling the field blue. So we're going to Cure Plus Marcy. You always want to Cure Plus Marcy. It'll be for later phases. So we Cure Plus Marcy. Now Marcy actually is going to do four ones. One, two, three, four. Never over. Don't do any more even if you miss. That is very important. I'm going to keep stressing that. Now we're going to Cure Plus Marcy again. So Lynx is at negative three stamina. He'll be at negative two after we do this Frog Prince. But this Frog Prince and the Ice Blast following really kind of depend on your Marcy magic. Uh, but as long as you equipped enough Ice Blast, you should be fine. So we're going to Frog Prince. This is why we also geniused Marcy and we also magnified the field and turned red Dario. All of this stuff was built up to help start doing magic damage to him. Big chunks of magic damage at that. 1795. That is a good roll. You can roll up into the 2000s if you have a really high magic, Marcy. Also, I do notice that I have been saying Marcy. This is because uh, of the save state and who you, we normally have in this fight. But you could be using Irene's or some other blue uh, innate user who has high magic as well. So we are in the phase four and the final phase. So we're going to start with doing the one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't overmash. It is very bad if you overmash, so do it slowly. And then we're going to Ice Blast. And this is basically how this final phase is going to go. It's going to basically be a one-on-one -on -one between Marcy and Dario. So we hit him with the Ice Blast. He's going to respond with a Weaken. So you'll notice that Marcy is now at negative six. So how do we keep looping him in if, if Marcy's at negative six? Uh, and that's true, and that's actually why we end up getting rid of Lynx here. But before we do that, we're going to do a 1-1. One, one. Even if one of the ones misses, that's fine. As long as you get him to level 1. I'm sorry, no. Uh, even if you need to get to level 2. I apologize, I misspoke. You do need to level, get to level 2. And then here, this is where a split into the strats can uh, occur. So we need to defend here. And we can't control who Dario attacks. This is one of those free turns that he gets. No matter who he attacks, it is fine. So in this case, he does target links. Which is actually good. So this actually shows uh, what could be scary to a lot of uh, new people who haven't done this strat before. It looks like, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm at one stamina uh, and he could probably go again. But first, let me explain what happens if instead Marcy dies. You'll see that if Marcy dies, we actually built those levels on Link so that he can do a revive. Then Marcy can do a one and then Link's can do a weak minded. And that would basically kill off Link's how we have now and Marcy would be alive. But you'll see that that's not what we got. Lynx did get killed, which is, once again, like a 50-50. And now we're going to just defend with Marcy. He will always do a physical attack here. And we're defending. As long as he doesn't crit multiple times, you are safe. And now, basically, you are locked into the final phase that you saw in the beginning clip of this uh, video. So what we're going to do from this point on is we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the amount of Ice Blast that it'll take to kill him really is dependent on Marcy's magic, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, as long as you have enough Ice Blast and you get to this part of the fight, you are set. So these Ice Blasts and the Frog Prince did a lot of damage to this magic. I bet he got burned. Yep, he did. So you'll see burns in the top left. You can actually notice that a lot earlier. I just happened to just now notice. You don't have to get burns, by the way. It just is a plus. As long as you have enough Ice Blast, the only thing it'll take you is time. I actually think we might only need one or two Ice Blasts from this point on. Oop. Oop. I did not mean to do String Phone, but you can actually do String Phone here. That was a little bit of a mistake. String Phone is also fine. It still killed, yeah, so it was fine. So you can see that it's fine. If you if you actually do run out of Ice Blasts and you have to resolve... Uh, like, if you have to fall back on using String Phone, you can see that it does work. But yeah, that's basically it. So I would say uh, it can be a little bit tight. Uh, and there are a little bit of a couple places where the strat can split into different places. Uh, but I would say just make sure you save before the fight. And uh, you should be good. Just takes maybe it takes a little bit of practice.